r slash dead bedrooms. Supermassive cow says. My 28 male, wife 29 female, cried because I suggested a blowjob. I'm the high libido, and she is LH. We've been together for 6 years. Married for one. I had a busy day renovating one of the rooms. Afterwards we decided to go out for dinner. Later that night I playfully asked for a BJ. She was disgusted and said I can't believe I asked. I brought up that we had a recent conversation, maybe about a month ago about comprising with doing other sexual activities, since she isn't very keen on having sex. She then began to cry and went to sleep. I'm forever respecting her wishes not to, I rarely asked her for sex. Then this one time I ask for something else, I'm made to feel horrible. Why is it that there is no appreciation for all the times I have to understand that she doesn't want it? I don't make her feel bad, I understand. However, when I request I'm made to feel awful. Now in fairness to her she doesn't always make me feel bad for asking for sex. I think it was because it was something different. Contributionoost 6128 says. I'm 60, married 37 years. This situation will continue to deteriorate, it will never get better for you. If I could go back and my younger self anything, it would be this. A person doesn't really care for you when they openly disrespect your feelings wants and desire for intimacy. Run. Lord of the Dancer Sage says. This to this chap opus. He knows he score. Run for the hills. Bad underscore mad underscore man says. Listen to this advice in the name of all that is holy. Decades pass in the blink of an eye at this stage of life. Spend them with someone who is sexually compatible with you, or you'll have plenty to regret once you're too old to find someone else that will make you happy. Bony Unboned says. Your previous posts talk about your wife losing an ovary within the year and having medical issues with her vagina. Call me stupid, but I feel like blowjobs are not going to be high on her priority list. Alison just says. Situations like these seem so frequent in this subreddit. I'm not saying it's the cause for all HLM slash LLF pairings, by far, but I've seen it a lot, and posters rarely seem to have any empathy for the woman, even if sex has become painful for her, even if her hormones are in the gutter, she's supposed to provide blowjobs to her husband? If it was a man whose dick felt like needles went through it every time he got an erection, I doubt people would tell the HLF well, if he won't take one for the team, and eat you out anyways, he's heartless and manipulative. Obviously in this case the op omitted this important information, but even when it's said, the consensus often is she should get over it and do stuff other than piv. Completely disregarding how insecure and repulsed by sex an experience like that can make someone. Bony Unboned says. Absolutely the information was omitted. I'm mostly convinced, after reviewing Ops other previous posts, that the account is BS or mildly deranged attention seeking behavior. Regardless, the entitlement shown in the comment section makes me want to throw up. It's no wonder low libido, people, in some instances, run the other way. No one is owed sexual gratification, ever. R slash dead bedrooms. Exotic patient 9929 says. I just have to laugh at this point. I, 38 HL, and my wife, 38 lines, have been married for 18 years. We were married way too young, but that's another story. We have basically had a dead bedroom after saying I do, but it has gotten especially bad the past 3 years. We have maybe had sex 20 times in that period, and in the past 6 months it's been exactly 0 times. Prior to that it was over a 9 month dry spell. I finally had the talk with my wife, and made it known that this isn't going to work. I told her I understood she didn't owe me anything, and it was her body and she could choose what she wanted to do with it sexually. But she also cold and control my sexual needs. She expressed she doesn't feel connected to me, and wanted to go on more one-on-one -on -one dates, spend time talking etc. 
even though I knew in my heart of hearts that Wold didn't change anything and was an excuse, she would always find ways or silly reasons for rejecting me in the past, I swallowed my pride and made it a priority to make her feel valued, loved, wanted, etc. We traveled extensively this year, many dinner dates with just the two of us, I take care of our kids, help them with homework, drive them around, let her talk, and listen to her. I also do the bulk of the housework, pay the bills, and I make significantly more money than her, which I in no way hold over her head. Well as I suspected, not a thing changed other than she gets everything she wants, and I haven't gotten the one thing I really enjoy. Three years ago I suggested she get her hormones checked and she refused. Well after the talk she took steps and went and got her hormones checked and as I suspected, her testosterone, progesterone and estrogen are out of balance and they gave her a prescription that to this day she still hasn't filled. The reason I laugh, the kids are back in in the swing of their school and practice schedules and we have the house to ourselves. So even though the last 427 times I've asked for 6, I've been rejected, I thought, what the hell I'll ask one more time. She also received very good news today, so I thought my odds would be good. Nope. She laughed at my proposition, and then comes up to me a few minutes later, and says maybe later after she... Showers. Maybe later equals number 100% of the times I can remember because she will find a dumb reason to get mad at me and say I ruined the mood, or the kids will be awake, or she will want to finish her show, or her period will conveniently start in 27 minutes, or she will feel like she ate too much, or her shell have a headache, or she'll remember an early morning meeting she forgot about. Or she will want to talk for 2 hours, and then be too tired, or she be too cold, or too hot, or it's too late, or it's too early, or name your excuse I would just love to feel desired at this point, but I now know it is not in the cards for me moving forward. A couple of ladies I know, have straight up propositioned me, and am now seriously considering seeing them for sex only. My wife is even aware of these propositions, but she doesn't think they are serious. They don't want a relationship, but have told me they are attracted to me. At least I'll get some action which is more than I'm going to get moving forward. I just have to laugh. Thank you for listening to my... Korea Aslaz 2001 says. Your wife knows you have propositions, assumes you will never act on it. She also knows you are lonely and your physical needs are not being met yet she laughed at you. Read that again. That's so, sad. And awful. I don't understand LLS in these situations at all. I'm sorry you are going through this. I wonder when your emotions are going to get the best of you, and instead in sadness, you will feel rage and utter bitterness. I also hope she takes you seriously when you tell her again you've been propositioned. She needs to take this seriously if your marriage is going to work. Or I will need to make a very hard decision. 38 is not old. Head at 7506 says. Just doesn't sound livable to me. Legitimate underscore cause 1178 says. She laughed at my proposition let's see her laugh when other women throw themselves at your proposition. Cheek Revolutionary 67 says. Have you had another talk with her following the changes you made, and the treatment she was given? <laughs> Foolish at 18 says. Are these women you know that have propositioned you for sex? R slash dead bedrooms. Throw account 1990 says. Resenting the intimacy without sex. Just my rant of the week, because I don't feel like talking to my partner and having a fight blow up. F29 married to M30 now going on 4 months sexless. Before that maybe one time a month for the last year or so. I see a lot of people on here say they miss the intimacy more than sex. Hugs and stuff. I would rather have none of it if we are going to be in a sexless relationship. My partner is happy to hug me, cuddle and even give me the kind of polite kiss you'd give your aunt. He is empathic about how much he adores me all the time. Even compliments my beauty all the time. 
I used to think, when he laid to hold me, or touched me something might happen, and it get disappointed when it didn't, but now I know nothing will ever happen at least on his end. I'm resenting having to be cuddly with him, when it gets me aroused, and I have to repress it. I could of course deny him the affection, but it would end in hurt feelings and another fight. It makes me feel awful to be used as a teddy bear, when he wants nothing to do with sex. I should leave, but I can't seem to get myself to do. John Ador says. My wife is just like this. She craves hugs and cuddling. But I started denying her as I can't handle it anymore, feeling her gorgeous body against mine, making me hard af knowing that absolutely nothing will happen, and she'll fall asleep in 5 minutes leaving me alone with something I will have to take care of myself. Throwaway314 says. The best way to avoid resentment is to remember he has sex with you, when it's something he wants. You have to deal with your feelings of sadness when it's rare, or never. Similarly only accept, or offer, affection when it's something you want. His feelings about that are for him to manage. If he fights about, offer him therapy. His feelings are no more valuable than yours. Throry I says. Ah yes. I call that the 5th grade relationship. I'm in one of those as well for the most part. I get duty sex once every 3 weeks or so, if I ask 2 to 3 times. West Coast Thing says. I'm with you. If sex is off the table all the other intimacy becomes a reminder of the sex you're not having. I'm withdrawing intimacy more the longer the dry spell carries on. Old underscore dreamer underscore says. You write yourself that you should leave. What is stopping you? Children? Finances? Home ownership? You are 29, you have to change something, no matter how. You don't want to end up like me, the old dreamer. Ended up in a dead bed at about 45, but before that I had wonderful years. Oh frick, that reminds me, how stupid could I be at 45 to keep it going? Yes, everything worked out, a great partnership, only without six, and then without any touching. Unfair underscore function 1388 says. I wish my wife craved the intimacy. DB underscore anon 8452 says. My husband is the same, loves to cuddle, hug, hold hands, kiss even, but isn't interested in sex. It's really frustrating. Ginger Kate Lane says. This is a hard one, because once you withdraw all intimacy, it's way less likely that you'll get back to a normal healthy sex life. But I can also see why it would be hard to have that level of intimacy knowing it won't go any further. I'm the low libido, so my view on things is limited, but I can see why you feel this way, and I'm just sorry you're going through it. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.